Hey everybody, so today I'm going to be doing an eyeliner video for you. This is a video that is not too exciting for me, but I have gotten so many requests from you guys to do it that I feel like I just need to do it to get it out of the way. And when you guys ask for an eyeliner, ask for an eyeliner video, I'm assuming you're meaning the way I apply my eyeliner in basically all my videos. So I am not going to talk your ear off about it, I am just going to get started. Um, first thing is I have absolutely no makeup on my face whatsoever right now, so take a good look ladies because this is reality. This is just the way I personally apply eyeliner. Everybody has their own ways, everybody has their own techniques, but this is how I do it, so I'm going to share with you. So first of all, I use a MAC 208 brush, and it looks like this. And that black in there, this brush is like two years old, and that black is just, it's there permanently, it's never going to leave, it's just stuck in there nice and good. I know a lot of people say these brushes fall apart really easily and they have to be replaced a lot, which can be true, but I take little scissors like this when I get like flyaways and I go in there and I cut like that. And I cut little pieces off, can you see it? So like. I cut like that. I've only had to do that a couple of times with this brush, but like otherwise, this front area right here can get really frayed. Okay, it's totally zoomed. Focus on me. <laughs> this right here can get super frayed and like stick out and make it so that when you're putting your eyeliner on, it's not precise because it's like all over the place. Not cute. So, anyways, this is the brush I use Max 208. Um, it's a good brush. I have absolutely no complaints about it whatsoever. So then, next I use Maybelline Eye Studio Gel Liner and it is in black. Black is black. I used to use this by MAC, which looks the exact same. That's MAC and that's Maybelline. But look! Maybelline is blacker. Can you see that? Oh, I see it. Oh yeah, MAC looks like almost gray next to how freaking black Maybelline is. I mean, that's just like a black abyss. Where MAC almost looks gray next to it. That's MAC. And that's Maybelline. That's insane. I've never held those next to each other before. I'm telling you, this Maybelline gives MAC a run for their money. With MAC in the black track, I would apply it and then I would have to go back later and do it again. Because it just wouldn't look as black. Within like two hours, I'd be like, okay, my eyeliner looks gray, but this, I put it on and it does not move and it is pitch black all day long. Okay, so I am going to get into this. I'm going to take the eyeliner and this is how I dip it in there. I hold it like this, I take my brush, and I go like this, get it all nice and covered and then I go on the edges and I go like this. And the reason I do this is because I want the brush to look like that. And it's just like perfect as can be covered in that liquid liner and it doesn't, it's not frayed, it's not gumpy, gooey, whatever. Okay, so now I'm gonna take it and this is the one beauty thing that I do wrong and I can totally admit it to you guys, I pull on my eyelid. I pull it taut. I don't do it when I'm doing my eyeshadow or anything else, but when I am doing my eyeliner, I take my eye and my finger and I put it right here and I tug at it a little bit like that. And I know it is such a bad habit and I hate myself for it. I can do eyeliner without it, but it's just like the moment I get right there, I'm just like, ah, uh, I cannot help it. I have to touch my eyes when I'm doing this. Okay. So I always personally start in, wait, where do I start? I start on the outer corner. I start right here. And the first thing I do is I just put my brush down and I just start moving it around so that I get it on, like so. And then I turn my brush the opposite way, so we were just like this. And now I'm gonna go like this with the point in the inner corner. And I start going like this. Okay, so there's just like, the outer edge of it. So now at this point, because I just did that layer, there's still product on my brush, but it's not as much as I want and it's not as black as I want. So again, I just dab one side and then go like that. So that it's still on there. 
Okay, so now is when I grab my eye because my eyelashes get in my way. That's the issue is like I touch here and my eyelashes get up there and get those little dots. Like did you see what I just created? Those tiny little dots up there? Whatever, it's annoying. Okay, so I pull my eye taunt and then I'm gonna touch that point in my most inner corner So in the inner corner, I want it to be rounded right here in this area. I don't want it to be flat. I want it to have a round shape, but I want to continue the roundness up and thicker to the outer part of my eye. This is basically going to work for all eye shapes. Now, if you have Katy Perry eyes where you're really round eyed, when I am doing makeup on girls with eyes like that or guys with eyes like that, I just do one band just straight across kind of like this nothing thicker nothing thinner it's just like a rainbow because that looks really good on perfectly round eyes I have almond shaped eyes so that is not what I want to do I don't want to do an all around round effect on my eyes so I'm gonna just show you again I go in the inner corner okay so I normally do a wing, so I'm going to show you how I do my wing. But see right there, it needs to be built up more because if you can see, it goes round and then it's kind of like tabletops out. I know you see what I'm talking about. So I don't want that tabletop there. So I'm going to just So you can see I'm beginning to fix it. And then I'll touch this. Now I go and do my wing so that anything happening on the eye can be perfected later after I do the wing. So with not tons of product on my brush, and you want to make sure that the brush is nice and tight, I don't know, you just want to make sure the brush is very pointed at this point. And now the trick to doing winged eyeliner, I'm going to zoom you in just like a little bit more, even closer. Hey. Okay. So as you can see, my lower lash line right there, it has an angle to it and you follow that up right there to the corner like this. So if I look down, you can see it even more like that. That is gonna be your perfect angle for a wing, okay? Right like that. If you take it up like this, it's gonna be too elevated. If you take it straight out, it's probably not gonna be so flattering on your eye. Unless you have a lot of cool eyeshadow going on around it where you know it's up here and it's down here and you want to even it out with the line in between, that's cool. But for just an everyday winged cat eye look, you're going to want to follow the natural shape of your eye. So take your brush. Um, a lot of people say that it helps if your elbow is stabilized on something like a desk or a table. I don't really care if my arm is stabilized or not. A lot of people feel more comfortable, whatever makes you know you happy. But so you're just gonna put your brush right there at this angle with the point facing down. Some people like to go like this, I like to go like this, it doesn't matter. And you're just gonna flick it right there. Okay? Now see that's not perfect, but it doesn't matter because it's in that vicinity. Now I turn around like this. Okay, so there's your perfect line. So that right there. See that it follows right along with my bottom lash line, right up there. So now that we have that, just take that and just flatten it out. I like to start right here. I don't like to go all the way to the back of the wing. And then I like to bring it upward. So with my wing, I like to take it and kind of swoop this way to continue that roundness that we have on the top of the eye. I don't want to just go like this and then straight down. I kind of want to round it up and across my eye. So now that we have 
that roundness, I'm just gonna fill in that empty space right there. And there is your winged liner. It's so simple. You can even take that brush if you want to make that point even just a little bit more precise. And just touch it like that. Okay. 